What's up, Skrillgers? It's Nerf here. I am number two in the ladder now. i uh, been playing Automatons and Tempo Order mostly right now in ranked. Um, only three rating behind Tajik, so I really want to get that number one spot back. But today we're actually going to play Judgment um, because I haven't had a Judgment video on this channel for a uh, bit of a while. And three ranked videos in a row uh, is not enough variety, in my opinion. So, uh, last session video we did, it was the first time with the new Wild Judgment in Echoes, um, and we looked at the five matches that got 5-0, and we just watched them in replay mode. Um, that's a ranked match. But this time I'm just going to draft and live commentary the first match. So, we can pick whatever we think the best scroll in this row is. Probably Proud Mercenary. This row, probably Gallant Defender. Um, now I'm going to take the Oak Blood. That can be a really um, big wall that my opponent can't get through. Uh, Brother of the Wolf is a pretty solid choice here. Now Pack Husk is really, really strong. Um, Grave Lock Freak kind of... In Judgment, you generally don't want to choose stuff that gets benefited by uh, other scrolls. You want things that are good on their own, like Pack Husk. Grave Lock Freak is better with other Grave Locks. Uh, that's why his 3-2-6 is pretty weak for a 6-drop. So there's a Pack Husk. Um, scrolls here aren't too great. I'll just take the Underground. Uh, you never know when that will come in handy. Now, Ragged Wolf or Terrain Brute. Both are pretty decent. I'm going to take the Ragged Wolf. So many times Ragged Wolf uh, is useful. Now... Here's the, this is what I'm talking about. Here's a tough choice. Do I take the Wings Captain or the Focus? Focus, you, you almost always have a use for a Focus. Wings Captain, it's a little stronger with other soldiers. So it's having, it's still gonna have move two when its countdown becomes zero though. So it's like iffy. Do I want it? Do I want it? Um, I think I'm gonna choose the Focus though. Uh, when I've been drafting these Judgment decks. I used to, before this, before Echoes, I used to draft always creatures was the priority, because you want to make sure you have creatures, but lately I've been having enough creatures by far, like I want more utility scrolls, I want like half and half, so I'm going to take the focus here. Uh, here, do I have a lot of humans? Mm, I have a mix, so I'm not going to take the grounds of the fallen. Do I have a lot of spells? Not really, so I think I'm just going to take the corrode, who knows, it could be fun to play. Uh, here, Ripper, Owl, Flesh Animator, um, I do have one Undead with the Pack Husk, but that's it, so I'm just going to take the Ripper, a solid, a solid turn one play. Now, here I'm going to take the Steelwood Vindicator, um, this would be my first Relentless creature, and Relentless is important, uh, especially when you have a Focus in the deck. Now, um, I'm going to take the Machination Mindset, um, that could go on anything at the right time. Uh, probably Sister the Bear here, just a solid chunky creature. Bombard don't really have ranged creatures. Now, Duke of is good, so is Ace Moore and Scholar. I'll take the Scholar, just one of the better Echo Scrolls. You can um, choose to find whatever scroll you'd like. Now, Blessing of Haste, Copper Auto, or Replicaton. Replicaton's out. Um, relies on energy. Copper Auto is decent, and so is Blessing of Haste. Blessing of Haste is the kind of utility scroll that changes games, though, so I'm going to take that. Now, pretty easily Expedition Guard here. Um, I really like Expedition Guard. Three drop with four health, and it could get a really high attack. Now, Verdant Remnant or Kazum Driller. I haven't really even played with a Kazum Driller in, uh, in game yet. Uh, I haven't really gotten to see how good he is. I'm kind of tempted to. Uh, experiment in quick match and stuff and make a melee energy deck now that it has a solid another solid five drop to go with um, iron cloud reaver uh, but for this match I think I'm just gonna go with the Verdant remnant you can't go wrong there here I will take either the languid or the warding stone both are pretty solid I think languid is slightly slightly better uh, ace more and scholar definitely now do I want stitcher or for fertile soil we don't really have that much, that many bad creatures, so we don't really have great fertile soil targets. But you really can never go wrong with a fertile soil, so I'm still going to take it. I mean, the same holds true for the Sisher. You want to destroy your weak creatures. 
now a spark so I can have some removal, more count sound reduction. I'm not sure which one I want. Uh, probably having a mix of both is good, so I'll take the spark. Another four drop rather than the curse presence, even though it's good. I don't have any poison or anything. I'll take. What's our. How many creatures do we have? We have 12 creatures. That's about where we want to be right now. Do I want to take a mangy rat or a useless contraption or an unbind? Unbind is decent removal. So I'm tempted to take that. Yeah, I'm going to take the unbind. Now, Steelwood Vindicator over Potion Resistance, even though Potion Resistance is really good. I want another Relentless creature. Okay, so now I'll take the creature here, Slayer of a Siege. You never know when he can get a big Slayer attack off. Uh, Pother or Night Skeller, both are very powerful. Do I take the nice Utility Scroll or the creature? I have some creatures down here, so I'm going to end up having a lot of creatures. I already have almost 15. So I'm thinking Pother might be a good choice. And I already have a bunch of 4 drops. So I'm going to go with the Pother. Now I'm going to go with my third Steelwood Vindicator. Those will be our Relentless guys. Uh, last Automaton here. Solid 5 drop. Now Solemn Giant does work with Wild. So I think uh, we're going to take him over the Canister Automaton. That can just really be powerful. A game changer him. So I'll take him now. Controlled Lightning. I guess that could work. Battle Dance. Some board wide countdown reduction over the Reaping Mask. Reaver's Treaty. I don't really have that many of those. I'll take the. Do you want the Frost Gelf or the Iron Whip? I'll take the Iron Whip. So I have lots of countdown reduction in this deck, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to have a nice amount of creatures too. Another focus, I think. Um, do I need another four drop? What's our curve looking like? Our curve is pretty good. I don't think we need another four drop. I think another pother would go, uh, would go longer. And I don't think two solemn giants is necessary. I think one is good. So I'll take the ducal spearman for some spiky if we need it. So I think this is a pretty well-rounded deck. Uh, we have to choose five things to get rid of, though. Um, I think. We have a good balance here. I'll get rid of the unbind. There's not a not a great chance we're gonna find something to kill with the unbind. Um, I'm going to get rid of the controlled lightning. Really, solemn giants are only thing that can use that effectively. Get rid of the corrode. Judgment idols don't have that much health, anyways. Uh, two more things to get rid of. Maybe I should get rid of one creature. Uh, we don't have any two drops actually. That's I don't know. We have one two drop. Uh, maybe I should get rid of the ripper. Ripper's not that great. Yeah, I'll get rid of um. I'll get rid of the ripper. And I'll get rid of one more scroll, and I think it's going to be the underground. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a 5 winner. I haven't had a judgment yet um, since Echoes came out. That wasn't a 5. Oh, actually, no. I had a 5-1 off camera. So just name whatever. And let's find a match. All right. Found a match. Good luck. Have fun. Shik Uh Definitely mulligan hand. No... Two, one, two, or three drop to play. Um, this is also not too great of a hand, but we can't mulligan this one. I'll get rid of the early focus. Gallant Defender with Oak Blood uh, could just save us, and we can just keep that there as we built up our board behind it. And I have a Languid for whatever he plays early on. Well, now I have that. Uh, let's get rid of the Languid. Yeah because I'm not really going to have a chance to play it is after the Steelwood Vindicator. I want to go three straight uh, four drops. And what is he going to play? I'll regret sacrificing that Lingo because he's like a Kinfolk Brave right now. Log uh, Hound, alright. Uh, Proud Mercenary. I think I'd rather have the Steelwood Vindicator. Yeah, I want a nice Relentless creature. 
So I assume Shiksax is going to come down to engage and try to kill me. Yep, he is. Uh, but I'll play down a Gallant Defender. And that will probably take zero damage because Shiksax uh, will likely play something either this turn or next turn. And then after that, I'll probably go with Solemn Giant and then start pumping the Solemn Giant and hitting these weak judgment idols. Okay, so Mata Shift gets him an Expurgator, so I'm glad he plays that. Uh, I'm glad that comes into play before I get the Oak Blood down. I'll get rid of the Brother of the Wolf here. Play the Gallant Defender and move up. So now Shiksax might be done. Unless he has like a Spark, a Burn, a Soul Steal, something to get rid of this Steelwood Vindicator. He's, he's in a very bad position because he cannot put damage on this Gallant Defender really. I guess if he has like an Earthen Mirth, he can kill it. But that's just about it. Next turn I can get down a Solemn Giant and then every turn after that I'll be at least 6 wild so I can start pumping that thing. Yep, so he has no way of dealing damage to that Gallant Defender. Um, so we'll see if I can move up and kill that Expurgator. Hopefully he doesn't get down like a spiky unit in front. Well, I'm going to be able to plow through there, so probably not wise with Shiksax, Shiksax to put that stuff up there. Doesn't look like we'll be needing the Blessing of Haste. And I'll get down this Solemn Giant. Uh, I'm actually going to put him in the middle. So it doesn't look like we actually need needed the oak blood and our, our gallant defender does not even have the extra armor anymore so yeah oak blood wouldn't really do a whole lot i might need to use the solemn giant to destroy this bog hound bog hound does have four attack rounds so if he has like a blessing of haste or something um he can kill us gallant defender without its armor well, that's not too wise for Shiksax, in my opinion. I'm just going to... Moon, so when a non-decay creature you control is destroyed during your opponent's turn, it's... Well, that's a, that's a decay creature, so... That's a decay creature. So, yeah. You're not going to get a revenant. I was saying, if it, if he was going to get a revenant, it would be annoying that I couldn't maneuver these guys, so I had the one attack behind it, so I can show the revenant. But it's irrelevant. And I didn't bother, I wasted one damage, I could have damaged either of these idols. But the Solemn Giant can one-hit those anyways, so I don't really care. This looks like it's going to be a quick uh, judgment match. Um, and maybe also a quick video. Uh, let's sacrifice the Ragged Wolf. I guess I'll just pump. Pump, pump, pump. Um, I guess that's good. And I'll go like this, just to protect against a Kinfolk veteran. So next turn I have the choice of destroying another idol with a Solemn Giant, or destroying this Clock Library. Again, that's before he does anything. So I'm not sure what Chicksax has in store for us. If I destroy this, he will get a Revenant, right? No, no, it's only creatures. So this Gloomstone Treaty... It's kind of just sitting out here, not really accomplishing anything. All right, he's He's got the lingering spells in order. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to try to end this game. Ooh, okay, I have Solemn Giant Machination Mindset. I'm going to be able to win this. I'll get rid of the Steelwind Vindicator. We're just going to go for some powerful creature here. And I am going to waste one damage again because now I know the Solemn, Solemn Giant is my calling card. So I'm not going to let it die to like a Ragged Wolf or the Mirth or anything. So next turn with this 4 attack Relentless and a potential 9 attack Relentless uh, because of the Machination Mindset. I don't have enough resources for the Iron Whip too because this costs 6 to pump. Uh, we should definitely be able to win next turn barring some kind of Potion Resistance or something. Well, that is actually going to stop us from winning just yet, but... I'm going to get rid of the Fertile Soil. I don't think we'll be using that. I'm still going to go for a nice big play. 
he's going to get a revenant, which means he's actually going to get a resource for the next turn, right? Or no, it's going to go away, I think. Oh, oh, that was... I was thinking, again, the Ripper is decay, so he doesn't get a... He doesn't get a... Uh, revenant from that. Yeah, so this Gloomstone Trinity was kind of just a waste of a scroll for him. So, he's going to surrender because he can't really defend against that. Sorry, man. Um, nothing to do against that start. So that'll be it for today. I know pretty quick, but I wanted to include more variety with the judgment video uh, and change up the judgment video's format too. Uh, so this time you get a live commentary. And that'll be it. Follow on Twitch, follow on Twitter, like the video, subscribe, and keep on scrolling, scrollers. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll be ranked number one.